yourself play ice hockey. And then I want you to picture yourself carrying the puck into the offensive zone <coughs> and attacking the other team's goalie. Now, out of nowhere, you notice that this big 6'5 guy comes out of nowhere, blindsides you, he crushes you against the boards. You also know while he's hitting you, his elbow is hitting you right in the face. You collapse to the ice, and you wake up on the bench with tons of towels full of blood, and you're asking yourself, what the hell just happened? This happened to me last year before I came to RMU. Uh, I was playing ice hockey, and a big guy came and blindsided me elbowed me in the face as I was skating. I was wearing a half shield at the time, and I went down and got a grade two concussion. I suffered a broken nose, lacerations all over my face. My mouth got punctured through my lip. And the worst part about it is the guy who hit me didn't even get a penalty for it. Nothing happened to him. The refs just called it off as just like it was some normal hit. Now, the good thing about today is the NHL is proposition a new rule in hockey which is to you know take away the hits from the head and make it a rule and actually this happened last week the NHL recently brought up a few weeks ago after seeing numerous players injured during the month now in order for this rule to be become official 30 members of the board on the NHL need to agree to have this rule be in effect and also players from the NHL PA which is the National Hockey League Players Association also need on board with it because that most importantly it's the players who play and it's the people on the board who just watch the players play. So ultimately it's the player's choice. Now what the new rule would, would prohibit is lateral back pressure or blindside hits to the opponent where the head is mostly targeted. And the rule is expected to affect, if it comes into effect, it's supposed to affect the remainder of the season and is also supposed to go into the playoffs. <coughs> Gary Bettman, who is the commissioner of the NHL, said that we believe this is the right thing to do for the game and for the safety of our players. He also said that the elimination of these types of hits should significantly reduce the members, the number of injuries, including concussions, without adversely affecting the level of physicality of the game. Now, there have been numerous amounts of complaints to this. Um, several league officials and many players in the NHL have said that this could hurt the league. They think that make players play more hesitantly and they say that when you play a sport, in any sport where you play hesitantly, you are more likely to be injured or injure yourself or injure someone else. They also think that it's going to take away the physicality of the game because, you know, when you go to hit someone, people may back off or if you're going to go and grab that loose puck in the corner, you may slow up a bit and people think it takes away from the game. I personally think that it's not going to take away from the game. I think it's only going to help it. I think it's important to keep the players safe. That way the, the National Hockey League stays afloat. There have been too many incidents this year and years past that have led players severely hurt and some that have had to retire from the game because of these head injuries. This rule also teaches players not to go out and purposely give cheat shots to other players in the team. This rule doesn't take away from the physicality aspect of the game at all. It just teaches players to be smarter when they go to hit someone. And if anything, it's going to just showcase more skills of the best players in the world. And just to show you guys a few hits, or excuse me, a few clips that happened uh, the past month here. Um, <coughs> Matt Cook of the uh, Pittsburgh Penguins. He uh, blindsides Mark Savard, which is right there. I don't know if you guys saw it. <coughs> didn't actually see it. Yeah, anyway, he just came out of nowhere and just blindsided Mark Savard right there. He just elbowed right to the face. And actually, Mark Savard suffered a, a grade two concussion. And uh, he actually, this happened March 6th, he suffered a grade two concussion and had to miss the rest of the season. And they actually say he's going to miss the rest of the playoffs as well. And this other one is Mike Richards hit David Booth of the Four Panthers. <coughs>
those of us who don't know what concussion is, uh, it's a minor or major blow. Oops. It's a minor or major blow to the head that causes your brain to slide forcefully against the wall of your skull. And this can result in bleeding in or around your brain. And concussions temporarily interfere with the way the brain works in terms of memory, judgment, reflexes, the way you talk, the way you balance yourself when you walk on a day-to-day -day basis. And according to the E-Medicine Health Association, after you receive your first concussion, you are then 33% more likely to receive your next concussion. So I've already received a concussion in my life, so now I am going to be 33% more likely. If I had another one, then now I'm 66% more likely to get the next one. So it just keeps adding up. Uh, and over like the past few years, there's been a lot of great players who've had to like retire from the game, such as Eric Lindros, who was supposed to be sought out to be like the next Wayne Gretzky in Zara. And Keith Primo also had to retire from the game from too many concussions because of hits like this, which really ultimately endanger the players' life <coughs> and ultimately it kind of gives like a bad rep to the sport of hockey because it kind of makes it like on the other like unlike any other sport, basketball or football, I guess baseball would kind of fall in the category because pitches and you can injure the other players, but it kind of gives like a bad name to the sport, having guys go out there and just cheap shot them for no good reason. And in conclusion, I just think that the new rule is great for the game of hockey. I don't think it takes anything away from it. I think it just protects players, makes the game a lot more safer, and you know, ultimately, in the end, your health is what's most important.